Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you how to build three level navigation in Filament in three different ways. And the example will be based on the official Filament demo. I've cloned it down to my computer, but you can find it on GitHub. I will link that in the description below. So first let's talk about two features that were released in Filament 3.1, which is parent menu item and sub navigation. So see on the left here, blog, then posts, and then the third level, categories and authors. All you need to do to assign some resource as a parent of another resource is in the child resource, in the category resource, for example, specify this. Navigation, parent item property, posts as a title of that navigation item, and I did the same in the author resource, navigation parent item posts. So if that didn't exist, for example, we refresh and only one of them is a child item, another one is just a regular item, and let's remove that from another one. So that would be a regular two level menu in the sidebar. But you can specify parent navigation item to make it a child. In this case, it's a third level. But the same goes if you're building two level menu item. Another third level menu item feature that was released in Filament 3.1, if we go to post and click on view post, for example, this navigation. Also, you can consider that a third level. So you can go to blog, then post, and then this is the navigation related to individual post. In this case, in the post resource, we define sub navigation position, which can be start or it could be top, for example, and we refresh and then this becomes here on top. And those menu items are defined in a function. If we scroll way down, even lower, this one, get record sub navigation. And you define your page as view post page, edit post page, or custom manage post comments, for example. So this is called sub navigation as a way to build the third level menu item. Now let's take a look at those blog and shop. What are those? These are navigation groups. And these were in filament for quite a long time, probably since version two or maybe three. So to define navigation group, you just pass that as a property in the post resource, for example, and then you can collapse that group or expand it again. So this is the first level item, then this is the second level item, and then the third level will be here on the sidebar, as you saw already, or as a sub navigation. And then the final example in this video is clusters. Clusters were introduced in filament 3.2. And they look like this products have menu item inside and products is a cluster. And inside of that cluster, we have kind of sub items, which are not visible on the sidebar, but they are part of the same kind of mini application within itself. Structurally, they are positioned in its own folder clusters, but this is only one way to do it is just recommended by the official documentation as an example. And then resources that are inside of the cluster specify cluster as a property products class. And that products class is actually a cluster representing the main menu item on the left. So we have navigation group inside of that we have navigation item, which is actually a cluster in itself. So orders is a regular navigation item, but products is a cluster navigation item. And then whenever you switch between those, the top menu item still stays active, and then you navigate between sub items of that cluster. In the official documentation, you can read that when using a cluster, new navigation item is added, then individual items are no longer visible in the main navigation, but they are visible in the new sub navigation UI. And I will link the full documentation of the cluster in the description below. So yeah, these are various options how to build three level or even two level menus in filament, you can experiment with those in different ways. And if you want to see our example of navigations and other filament features, you can visit our filamentexamples.com, our premium product with a lot of applications and examples of filament on top of these shorter videos I shoot on this channel. But if you don't want to go for our premium products, still subscribe to this channel, I will keep shooting videos about filament. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.